In this section, you will see that the required pieces of equipment have been identified based on the configuration Type A top block with straight tag. Also you will see a button to enable friction. This is not enabled because you, the equipment has to be entered to calculate friction in the system. Enter the information for each piece of equipment in the lift system by selecting the equipment used from the drop down box on the left of each section. You can always enter this manually but as previously mentioned that is doing it the hard way. As you select each piece of equipment the working load limit is filled in and the capacity of the equipment to support the forces is checked. If it passes, a green pass appears. If it fails, a red fail and yellow highlight is shown. A couple of notes on the working load limit columns. The listed working load limit is the number for the working load limit from each piece of equipment. The reduced column is the reduced working load limit based on the standard required reductions for certain configurations. Generally it is the same as a listed working load limit. The reduced working load limit is compared to the required working load limit which is the calculated force in the equipment. A couple notes on two equipment types. The hoist attachment is the equipment that connects the hoist to its anchorage. In the case of a vehicle mounted capstan, a hitch assembly is considered the hoist attachment. For a hitch assembly, the minimum, a minimum of class 4 hitch is recommended for rigging purposes. And remember that the towing capacity is not the capacity for the hitch. Be sure to enter the tongue weight capacity of the hitch assembly. Second, the hoist anchorage weight is the weight of the anchor which the hoist is connected to. The hoist anchorage weight equipment check assumes a rubber tire vehicle such as a crew truck and should not include the weight of any connected trailers. After entering all the equipment, you see that the hoist and hoist anchorage attachment are failing by all of four pounds. Also, because we have the, all the equipment entered, we can now enable friction by clicking the button at the top of this section. This introduces a little more force in the system and the hoist and hoist attachment are now failing by 49 pounds. Because the force on the system is caused by the load line, we can reduce the load line force by two-parting the load. Let's go back to the lift input section and change it to two-part. The forces in the load are roughly cut in half. Because a two-part system has a few more pieces of equipment, we need to fill out additional information for the equipment capacity checklist. Select your traveling block sling, traveling block shackle, and traveling block.
Now click Enable Friction again since we have changed to a two-part system adding more equipment. Now when we check back over the system, we see that all the equipment passes and there are no warnings. Scroll to the top and hit save. Now we have completed the force calculations for the highest lifted load position. But we have to check another load position. The farthest tag is at 75 foot and where we need to tag around an existing antenna mount. Let's assume that we have to tag the load out at a distance of 10 foot horizontally when measured from the top block. Now this part is really cool. Start by clicking the Save as New button. You will see the word copy will appear in the calculation name. Let's rename the calculation Farthest Tag Position. Now we can change the load height to 75 feet. and the load distance to 10 feet. Hit calculate and we see that there are still no warnings and as we scroll down we can see that all of the equipment still passes. Let's scroll to the top and save this configuration. And then hit back to project. You will see that we have two load systems that have been checked and saved with this project. Now you can move on to completing the rigging plan or if you just want to print the results Skip to Review Print. Select the load systems that you want to print and hit Print. You can now save or print a hard copy of your list system calculations. That's it. If you have any questions, watch the other training videos located at the top of the page under training videos. Or you can email us at info at riggingcalc.com or call us at 877-RIG-CALC.